Hi FlossTube! My name is Nicole and my channel is Nikki Stitchy and this is FlossTube 13 where I talk about uh, my hobby, cross stitching. Uh, last time I came to you with a somewhat of a whip parade. I think it was more like my active whips but then I ran out of time and I forgot to show you most of my full coverages so I'm here for that today and for um, any updates that I have since last time, which was two weeks ago, so not two months. Anywho, um, so today is the 14th of January, 2024, and uh, last time was like New Year's Eve when I saw you. Thank you for coming back, and um, I just wanna thank any of the old viewers and new viewers and um, yeah so I'm filming from my phone this time and my daughter is holding it for me and she might be trying to zoom in and certain things so we'll see how that works instead of my computer um so let's see what I decided to do for this year I'm not doing the whip go but I did put uh the wheel onto my phone with all my whips my active whips and I'm going to be pulling those. Actually, how can I do that when I have my phone? I don't know. I guess next time I'll try to put it on my iPad and do that. But my plan was to pull my active whips so you can so I can write them down. But I'll just do that after the video from my phone. But I'll tell you what I picked from last time and then I'll go over that. But before that, let me go over my actual um, full coverage whips that I have. So the first one is uh, the Chocolate Shop and it looks like, it's by Amy Stewart from Hey, and I'll show you what it looks like. My puppies just finished eating. They should be napping. That is the chocolate shop. Is there a glare? Hmm. Better? Hang on. Okay, so. I started that I think last year and um, I am at 1.12 percent it's um, there's only 375,000 stitches and so this is where I am at now Let's see put this behind so it'll be me I've been filling in stitches here and I think I was trying to do cross-country but I got bored from that. So then I went back to fill in and I'm only doing, this is a 25 count and I'm doing um, 10 stitches, two over one fabric thread. And um, I think I like put a line here cause I was like, maybe I should try the Royal Rose, but I didn't like that. And I think I tried to like come down in a diagonal, but I don't know. For, I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. Um, I did buy the thread that was like the majority of colors. Um, and then the rest I just use out of my master list. And oh, something new that I decided to do was, um, I don't know if y'all remember my like crazy piece of paper where I just like put all my end pieces. Um, on it and just wrote it. Instead, I decided to print off the actual uh, list, the um, symbol list, and I've been putting my thread, my extra thread, because it's kind of hard to put it out of my master set that I'm using. And I don't want to just waste, like if I only use like one or two stitches, I don't want to waste that. So that's what I've been doing for each of my, um, big old projects that I have. So that's the chocolate, well not chocolate, is it chocolate? Look, 
I, I'm always changing the name to this one. That is one. My second one is my, I guess this is the only super size max color one that I've been working on. And this is the stitching, sorry, a stitching shelf by Amy Stewart. And this is max color super size. And I've already completed all the black so that you can see some of what I completed. And then I was gonna go back and um, like do the second largest color left, but it's like a brown, so uh, it, it was too much. So what I did decide to do is I finished this first block in like a type writer method. And then um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just trying to fill in now. But I have the liberty to go back and forth of however I want to complete it, just like my grand library, because I did put in most of the stitches everywhere on this block. I mean, on this piece. So that's my stitching shelf. For that one, I am at, I think everyone knows what that one looks like. Um, I put in about 33,000 stitches and I'm at 4.74% on that one. So almost close to 5%. And again, I did the same thing. Of course, this one has like, what, 220 colors. So um, I just printed it off and I'll, I'll use this to pull the colors from first. If not, I use my master set. And then this is like everything that I bought like with the most used colors or the largest colors in that. And it's just, I don't know, that's a hot mess. Okay, that's two. And I have been working on um, those two this week, so I'm not gonna go back over that. And <laughs> this is the original one that had uh, the whole hot mess scrap sheet thing. My kids are like, oh, what is that? Um, that I have put my extra things of floss on too. And I did convert it to this one, but I want to use this one up first. <laughs> this is God Shed His Grace on Thee. And I have been working on this this past two weeks also. Um, and I've been doing it in diagonal. And this is, so far they're all have been 25 count, two over one, 10 stitch is my preference. Um, I actually did try something new on this side. I did um, kind of like the Royal Rose. Um, it's not the exact method for it, but somewhat close to it. Because I don't like carry and I just use whatever I have left. So that's looking pretty good. Every time I'm working on it, my husband will come in and say something about it. So looks pretty good. I am at, I want to say I'm at 13%. And this chart is by Artisy. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm at 13.51% with 27,000 stitches out of 200,000. And this one is easy. I think the landscapes are easy to do um, diagonal, not so much as the like stitching shelves or the Amy Stewart charts. It's kind of hard because you only use a couple of colors and you have to move on from that. So that's God shed his grace on me. Um, my next one is a church for all seasons by Nikki Bohm. 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 Everyone has a hard time saying it. Um, let me show you a picture of it. It's really wide or long versus not short. Um, a church for all seasons. What did I call it? A season of all churches? Of course. I get stuff backwards. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
P F. I will zoom in on that. So, yep, so long wise or width wise it's long and then length wise it's short. Got that? And then I am at 1.44% and it's uh, like a total of 247,000 stitches and I did about 3,000. And this one, um, man, these light colors are killing me. I'm doing this with a couple of ladies. Um, let's see. I'm going to get them all wrong. I know their first names. I'll just list it on uh, the description below, which I've been failing to do. But um, and I need to just write it down in my notebook. So I've been trying to just get the light colors out the way. More like cross countrying it, even though I kind of went down to the bottom so I could cut it. But I did that so I could cut it, and then it's really long. Like that. That again is still 25 count, 10th stitch. Um, let's see, that's not. So my last one, it's is um. The Shire painting, we got this off of Etsy. Um, Leanne, and we hashtag Leanne because it's all her fault that we're doing this. I decided to do mine on 18 count and I am not liking it at all. The 18 count, I want to try different counts so I can say what I like or what I don't like, but um, I'm using two threads and it's full cross. And it just feels like it's going to take forever. And maybe it's just a chart, but I'm thinking I'm going to redo this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to redo it on 25 count because I just can't with the 18 count with the full coverage. And that one looks like this. Okay. All right. Um, I am at 1% and it's 100,000 stitches. So yeah, I think I'm going to scrap it. I can use the fabric for something else, um, like smaller projects, but I haven't been wanting to work on it, I think, because it's 18 count. All right. So that is all for the ones that I did not show you that were full coverage. And I just have them on Q snaps ready for me to pick up and go. Um, some ones that I did forget to show. This is my Night Desert Chatelaine, which I don't think I put any more work into it because I feel like I'm at like a standstill um, because I have the actual paper and for Chatelaine's paper is pretty hard. So I want to purchase the PDF so I can zoom in and and um, maybe print off hard copies that I could actually see in Markov better. Which I can do, but I think P I'm just more, my preference is more PDF for, for those. Let's see, what's the next thing I worked on? Of course, I worked on my, my focus piece. Um, my goal is to finish this year um, hopefully sooner than later, but this one is my grand library. And, um, since you last saw it, I have decided to work on filling in this top portion. This was all holy. And I think I filled in a lot from here. So that's what I worked on. I think, um, the last time I worked on this, like yesterday, I started taking one of the colors and like working, I'm working through here. So I might just take a color and just go, whoop, another color and boop. So that makes me, last time, or two weeks ago, I was at 72%, and now I am at 73.64%. So that is my grand library. Uh, that'd be so cool. It'll be so cool when I finish with this one. 
All right, so the ones that I actually picked out from um, my will, the stitching, I picked out Midsummer Night's Fairy. Well, let me tell you the ones that you already seen. I picked the Grand Library, of course, that will be in each one. So that will be the, I would have 10 picks and that was always gonna be number one because it's my focus piece. I had picked the Seasons, the Church one, um, and the Love Letters. Now, out of the 10 that I picked, I did not pick up like uh, four of them. And I'm going to roll that into next week. And that was the Spring into Summer, uh, Memories of the Past, which I'll show you, and um, Autumn Quaker, you've seen, and then the... Bella Filipina fairy that I have that my daughter bought me. The one that's filming me right now bought it for me. So let's see. And then I did decide to work on, of course, God Shed His Grace, which was extra, and Stitching Shelf, which was extra. And then I worked on my Summer Jars by Susan Bates. And you can get this from Etsy. Um, I didn't work on much because we, me and my husband had to drive up to Phoenix and, um, I decided to work on it, but I think I only got this part in from last time you've seen it. So I did work on that a little bit. I like to do that during doctor's appointments or stuff like that. Um, I did put some work onto this one. This one is my, what do you call it? It's called Memories of the Past. And it's my sampler that I'm doing using soy, soy silk. But that's what it'll look like. And I'm in this corner up here. Um, I worked on it some last night, but yeah, this is all I have. And this is a 36 count. So I'm gonna put this again into my rotation for this coming up weeks. And just put this little like leaf berry thing up there <clears throat> and I use uh, all the different spools right there Let's see. my next piece is my church piece which is my dimensions, what do I call it? The toy shop. So that's what it'll look like. It's a five by seven. Um, and I also have this one, but in the same project bag, but I like to work it on this one. And I do this when my husband has to do uh, like audio visual for our church. And I like to listen. I like to work on it while I listen to the sermon because I can hear better focus better too so that's what that is liking it so far this is on 18 count and yeah this is definitely my church piece I like that now that I got my color printer working I can make copies of all my dimension charts and so I did that and I pulled out my um, fairy which, which fairy is this? I have it. <laughs> I thought I had it. Oh, yeah, I got it. This one is Spring Fairy. And I started that last year. Okay. And, um, yeah, I just... I put it on a scroll frame that I had purchased. It's called, what is it called? I got it from 123 Stitch. It's pretty cool because it clamps down. So I just clamped it down and um, yeah. I'm a, I need to find out where I can get those things that will hold the tension for the side. And I decided to um, grid, but see if that would help. And um, yeah, I just filled in like here. I didn't, I just started it last night. So maybe for like 30 minutes, I worked on that. Let's 
see what else I have to show. I did work on my marabilia, my old 20 over 20 year old marabilia, the Midsummer Nights Fairy. And I told y'all last time that I was going to see if um, I liked her color and her face and how she turned out because I decided to color convert her, but I did her face. Oops, sorry. I guess I could do it like this. So there's her face. What do you think? Let me know what you think. I kept her hair the same color as it called for, but um, yeah, I made her a little darker. Do you like it? Yeah, my daughter said she liked it. She told me to keep, just try it and see, cause I was gonna like start over. So I'm gonna keep moving forward with her. She'll be in my rotation. Let's see, what's next? Oh, and then I worked on the bookshelf by Little House Needleworks. Flash it really quick, we don't have to zoom in. And this is, this is a gift from my friend once it's finished. Um, I think I, I think I had to frog over here and I still ended up messing up. Um, but I'm just gonna move forward because I think it's a little longer. It's supposed to be symmetrical from this one to this one. And then I finished the authors here and I finished this little motif. So I think I'm done with this and up oh, now I have to work on the bottom part this is an in hand stitching piece also let's see what else did I work on oh I think that's it so I'm going to I'm gonna pull my numbers and maybe I'll post it on Instagram. I'm gonna write it down in my book like I did last time too. Um, I wrote down what I pulled, my 10. And actually I'm only gonna pull nine and then I wrote down the extra ones that I worked on. So I'll just continue from here and do that for my rotation. Um, I'm gonna try not to pick the same ones. But if it keeps pulling it, like after it gets to how many whips I have in there, then I will go back and do that. So that is for my whips. Um, let's see. Oh, so we went to Phoenix Friday, just past Friday. And of course, if I'm going to go to Phoenix, I'm going to go to the Attic Needlework store. And so I did. So I went there and um, I kind of noticed a few familiar faces. I don't think they noticed me, but I was too shy to say anything, um, but they, I think they were there for some kind of event that was going on at the attic. Um, I just picked up some, I picked up a Plum Street sampler. This is called The New World, which I've seen. They had a actual uh, sample there of this. And then I picked up this one, which I saw the sample and it was in teeny tiny stitches. So, yeah, so I grabbed that and then I grabbed me some needles. Cause every time I go there, I have to pick up. So now I got like four package of um, Bowen needles. And I, I picked up a size 26 and a size 28. So you can get like, you know, a couple of them for, um, I don't know how many is in there. Does it say? Yeah, 25 per pack. So 25, for six dollars of the twenty six and twenty five. Oh, I knew it. I don't almost. I don't read, but these are petite tapestry bowhead needles, and they're shorter. So I was like, oh, these are kind of short, but they're actually petite. So that's nice. I also picked up some. Um, oh, what is that Japanese one? But I picked up the wrong one. I didn't read it, and it's actually sewing needles. So I can't use that for cross stitching. I mean, I could, but I really don't want to. Um, 
So that's my haul. Am I missing anything? Nope. So, yep. Yeah, I think uh, that's it for today. I will try to come back in another two weeks for my progress. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message below and I will answer to it. All right. Have a happy rest of your day. Happy stitching and take it easy. Bye.